Dear learners, I hope all of you are fine. I'm also fine today. And dear learners, I hope always you are following the rules of health to avoid COVID-19 and you are washing your hands in time. Dear learners, you know that the COVID-19 is spreading rapidly. And if you want to say, if you want to live in a safe and sound positions, always you will stay, have to stay home. So dear learners, don't go out, please. If you have any emergency work, then you use your mark properly, then go out. And coming, returning home, you wash your hands and clothes and try to take a shower. Dear learners, I hope always you are following the rules of health and you, along with this, you are also completing your lessons, staying home. Don't avoid your lessons or negative lessons. Please try to cover your lesson and complete your lesson. Dear learners, I hope always you are following our class. This is what we are giving or submitting in YouTube and Facebook. And you follow the class. And if you have any problems, then write your problems in the comment box, we will try to give you a solution. Dear learners, we hope always you are practicing this, staying home. And in the last sessions, I give you a class on Paces Nations. Today, I am going to give you a class on Girand, Participle, Infinity, Verbal Noun, etc. And finite verb, non finite verb. Dear learners, I hope if you, you will listen or follow the class very attentively. And if you follow the class attentively, it will be very easy for you to find out the finite verb, non finite verb, clause, phrase, and what is very important for your mature writing and your standard writing. Dear learners, today you can see on the board that I have written a word, Jiran. If you follow the word, today I'm going to write about it. Jiran means I do with the present form of verb. Usually it works. Jiran is that form of the verb which ends in ing and has the force of noun and verb. A jiran is that form of verb. A jiran is that form of bhat which ends in ing. Which ends in ing. And has the force of noun and verb. Noun and verb. The learners, you can see a gerund is the form of verb which ends in ing. It has the force of noun and verb. Now I'm going to give you some example. Girant sometimes girant is used. Sometimes subject of a verb and sometimes object of a verb. Sometimes complete meant of a verb and sometimes object of prepositions. Let's see, I'm going to give you the example, subject of a verb.
subject of a verb. If you like, this, walking is good for health. Walking is good for health. Dear learners, you can see here walking. Here, walking is the art. It is working as a noun. So walking is good for health. Is walking is working as noun. And it is the subject of the bar. So, subject of a verb, sometimes we can use junk. Entity do works like now. I'm going to give you more example of these. Reading is a good Habit. Reading is a good habit, dear learners. You can see here, reading is also working as the subject of this book. It is also working as noun. You can see here, ing with the present form of verbs. So if ing with the present form of verbs works like a noun, so it will be a girant. Dear learners, now I will give you some example on bar objects of a bar. Number two, object of a bar. Here we have given an example on subject of a verb. Now I will give you example on object of a verb. Dear learners, you can see here I like reading story. I like reading story or I like reading. If you write here, I like, what do I like? Reading. So you can write your story or not, that is not fact. I like reading. So, like is bar and object of like is reading. It's a noun, working as a noun and gerund. Dear learners, this is called gerund when it works as a noun with the ing form of one. I'm going to give you more example on this. She Enjoy swimming in the She enjoyed swimming in the sea. What did she enjoy? What did she enjoy? Swimming. So swimming is here working as a noun. And it is working as girant. Dear learners, I told you if any bar, sorry I have to make a mistake. Swimming. 
swimming in the sea. Dear learners, I am going to give you more example on this. The another topic, complement of verb. Complement of verb. Now we will give. I will try to give you some examples on this. On complement of verb. Like this. What I like best is reading. What I like best is reading. It is the complements of Hard. What I like best is reading. It is the complements of her. Dear learners, I hope you have understood it clearly. So it is a jiran. I am going to repeat it. Jiran. Here the subject of a verb. Working is good for health. It is also subject of the verb. So reading is good for reading is a good habit. And object of a verb, I like reading. And it is also object of a verb. Enjoy enjoy it is a object. Verb, sorry, enjoy it is a verb, and swimming is working as an object of the verb. And complement of the verb is what I like best is reading. So, you can see here the different use of jiran. I told you before that jiran means ing form of verbs, where it works as a noun and force of verb. Let's give you more example on this. And here, complements of verbs, I'm going to give you more example on complements of verb. You can see here that object of a preposition. I'm going to give you the use of jiran as the object of a preposition. He is tired of sleeping over hours. He is tired. He is tired of sleeping. Here you can see your dad. Sleeping is working as an object of prepositions. So it is working as an object of prepositions. We can see here. So it is also girant. It is working as a noun and force of verb.
another example she forms of a reading here the object of the preposition is also jiran we can see here so it is also working as jiran dear learners i hope you have understood it so jiran means here verb now jiran is here during the present form of verbs and the jiran is a is the form of verb which ends in ing and has the force of noun and verb object of it i taught you the different use of gerund here at first i taught you the subject of a verb then object of a verb then complement of a verb then object of a preposition dear learners i hope all of you have understood it and you try to practice it and next day i will try to give you and try to make you understand about the verbal noun and finite verb and non finite verbs so try to follow this and try to find out from your books what is gerund and the different uses of gerund i hope all of you have understood it clearly and if you have any problem i will try to give you a solution how to solve this okay bye 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 today